For today's nature class, we shall be studying the pond. Ooh. Some creatures live on land, like elves. Oh. Some creatures live in water, like fish. Ah. Others live in water and on land, like... <laughs> frogs! Good, Ben. Who can tell me what frogs like to eat? Ice cream! Ho oh, ho! No, Princess Holly. Does anyone else know? Is it flies? Correct, Barnaby. Frogs eat flies. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to see where frogs come from? Yes, yes! Very well. Here we are. Frogs lay eggs called frog spawn. They don't look like frogs. Oh, oh, we'll have to wait a few days to see. Now, who's going to look after our frog spawn? I will. Really, Princess Holly? Yes, please. <laughs> Very well. I'll help you take them home to the little castle. Hooray! <laughs> Dum, do, da, dee, da, 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 la, la, da, dum, dee, da, da, la, la, dee, da, da, da. Nanny Plum! Nanny Plum! Hello, Princess Holly. How did your lesson go? It was great. We learned all about frog spawn, and I've got some homework to do. That's very nice. Hello, Nanny Plum. Where do you want the frog spawn? Goodness me! Frog spawn? You always said I should learn... No, no. Sheep give us wool. <laughs> <laughs> what did the sheep say? Ahem. The sheep said... Bah. But what does... Bah mean? Bah means... Bah. Uh, <clears throat> sheep are really very stupid indeed. But Rex is very clever. Who's Rex? <laughs> Rex likes you. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> Rex is a sheepdog. Watch this. <laughs> Rex is rounding up the sheep and taking them safely into their pen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Gaston wants to have a go. <laughs> You're too little to round up sheep, Gaston. Whoa! What's that sound? It's gone all dark. <laughs> it's Bessie. And who is Bessie? Bessie's a cow. Ooh, a cow! <laughs> <laughs> she likes you. Uh, uh, now, children, what does the cow give us? A big lick. Yes. And what else? Milk. Well done. But she hasn't brought any with her. <laughs> she has. Watch me. <coughs> it's OK, Bessie. I'll be very gentle. <coughs> Wow. And there you have it. That's where milk comes from. A cow. Another interesting thing about cows is they always sit down when it's going to rain. Oh, oh Nanny Plum, that's just a silly fairy tale. It's true. Please, Mr Wise Old Elf. Oh, very well. I suppose I can handle a few more children. What? Wise Old Elf. There's no need for you to hang around. But, but... You can collect your children when my lesson's over. No doubt there's some charming fairy name for this plant, but my class has identified it correctly as a welted thistle. Oh, isn't it Harry Bittercress? Oh, interesting. Or Harry Bogweed. You... Both know the silly plant names. So you should both take the class. Hmm. On one condition. No magic. 
I'm doing nature class today, not magic class. So, it's agreed. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Ah, an acorn. Now, what does an acorn grow into? Is the answer an oak tree? I was asking the children. Yes, yes, but an oak tree is the right answer. What the wise old elf is trying to say is that this little acorn will grow into a huge oak tree. Ooh! Cool! Can we see it grow now? Oh, oh. It will take years and years to grow into a tree. Aww. We could give it some magical help. Nanny Palum, we agreed. No magic. But look at the children's sad little faces. They'd so like to see the acorn grow into a tree. No. Please, Nanny Plum, make the acorn grow into a tree. Yes, please, Nanny Plum. <laughs> <clears throat> no flying. You will kindly walk. Flying is not allowed at elf school. Only because elves can't fly. <clears throat> That's right, Mistress Palum. Elves cannot fly. But we do have very good hearing. <laughs> <laughs> and elves are very good at making toys. So, today... We are going to make toys. Hooray! We will carry on from where we left off last time. I'm making a toy car. I'm making a toy duck. A toy helicopter. A toy boat. I'm making a toy frog. A toy rabbit. I'm making a robot. Ooh. I see that Miss Holly does not have a toy. That's OK. I'll magic one. Zing, zang, zingy, zoi. Magic me a little toy. <gasps> Ooh. Miss Holly, magic is not allowed at elf school. Only because elves can't do magic. <clears throat> elves could do magic if they wanted to, but elves don't do magic. And we're elves! <laughs> <laughs> Miss Holly, uh, you can work on this toy owl for today. Thank you, wise old elf. And I will take this wand for now so that you learn how to work the proper elf way, without magic. Oh. When the big hand and the little hand are pointing straight up, it is 12 o'clock. Hello, wise old elf. Ah, good day, Nanny Palum. Can we join you? Yes, as long as you are quiet. Righty-o! Hmm. Now, uh, who can tell me how we know a watch is working? We can hear it ticking. Oh, yes, Holly. Very good. You see, we fairies know all about time. But you fairies don't have watches or clocks. We have our own ways of telling the time. Hmm. I'm sure you do. Now... How do we know when to wake up in the morning? The alarm clock rings. Correct. I wake up when the cockerel cries. cock a doo doo day. Yes, I see. And how do we know when it's time to go to sleep? When the clock says it's bedtime. Yes. Correct again. I go to sleep when the owl hoots. Twitter woo! <laughs> <laughs> but without clocks, how do you know what time it is? We have dandelion clocks. Look. <gasps> One. <laughs> Can I have a go? <gasps> Two. <gasps> 
to... A me! Three! That means three o'clock. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. That's all fairy nonsense. <laughs> but it's fun. Fun has nothing to do with telling the time. I don't suppose you fairies can tell me what time it is now? It's... I'm on my way. Sit tight and don't do any magic. He's on his way. Lucy! Psst, Lucy! Oh, hello, wise old elf. Are you here to rescue Ben and Holly? Yes. Watch an elf ninja at work. Bother. Miss Cookie, there's an elf on a string. Oh, this is an odd-looking doll. Yours as well, Lucy. Uh, yes, Miss Cookie. I'll put this funny-looking goblin in the drawer with the rest of the toys. Funny-looking goblin? Funny goblin? Ah, it's the wise old elf, here to rescue us. Yay! Uh, yes. Hello. I never thought I'd be so glad to see you. What's the rescue plan? Uh, Will you make a hole in the drawer with a special elf rescue drill? Uh, no. Getting locked in the drawer was not part of my plan. It wasn't? No. It's all right. Lucy's teacher will let us out at the end of the lesson. Home time, children. Oh, Lucy, let me give you your toys back. I said it was risky. But, oh, no, you don't listen. Oh, it's all right. They all think we're toys. Uh, guys! <gasps> oh, I must have imagined it. Right, um, here are your toys back, Lucy. The pretty fairy, the handsome elf, the fairy godmother and the strange old goblin. Madam, for your information, I am not a goblin. I'm an elf! Oh, well done, wise old elf. So much for not being seen by big people. Now Miss Cookie knows about us. Don't worry, I'll sort it out. Hello, Miss Cookie. I wish I was there. Ah, it is a magic carpet. Whoa! Whoa! Now listen here, you naughty magic carpet. Take me back at once. Ah! Hello, Daddy. I've got a present for Mummy. Oh, where is Mummy? She's been locked in the bathroom for ages getting ready to go out. And I'm hungry. Here I am. You look lovely, Mummy. I've got something for you. Oh, thank you, my dear. It's a magic mirror. Mrs Witch didn't want it anymore. So, what does the magic mirror do? I tell the truth. Oh, how exciting. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the fairest of them all? You are, Queen Thistle. Oh, how wonderful. Well, you normally are the fairest of them all. Oh, what do you mean? Well, it's a bit of a bad hair day today, isn't it? Oh, dear. Now I'll have to start all over again. <laughs> what did you say that for? Just telling the truth, Your Majesty. Now we'll be eating even later, and I'm starving. Hello, Mum. I've got a present for you. Mrs Witch had a spring clean, and she threw this out. A lamp. Isn't it nice? Oh, lovely. Very brassy. I'll just give it a polish. I am the genie of the lamp. Oh, oh. he's very manly. Yeah. <laughs> I will grant you three wishes. What should we wish for? Why don't you dance for us? <laughs> Your wish is my command. <laughs> I wish for loud music. Very well. <laughs> we want you to bring all the plants back to life and make Planet Bong nice again like it was before. 
Uh, that sounds a bit difficult. But can't you use your magic? Magic? Elves don't do magic. And I'm an elf. So, you cannot help us. You are not Smarty Pants. Yes, I am Smarty Pants. And I will save your planet with uh, 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 magic. But wise old elf. Elves don't do magic. Shh. Don't worry about it, Ben. Good. We go now. This will be an elf expedition to save Planet Bond. Uh, I'll just need to stop on the way to collect a friend. For goodness sake, what is it now? We have found Smarty Pants. Here I am. How do I get down? Is there a ladder? I am afraid we do not have this ladder you speak of. Merely a primitive tronic beam. Ooh. Cool. But what do you want? It's the middle of the night. We're going to Planet Bong. It's very hot there. Ah, a holiday. I love holidays. I'll come too. Holiday, holiday. Yes, and I have a job to do there, which may require the services of a fairy helper. I can help. I'm good at helping. I need a sensible fairy. That's me. A fairy who does magic in a responsible, grown-up way. It's almost like you've said my name. Oh, very well. If we're going on holiday, we'll need to pack some things. No, no, no. It's not a holiday. Whatever. Let's see. What do we need for a holiday? Swimming costumes and towels? We'll need sunscreen. Sunscreen. Buckets and spades. Buckets and spades. Picnic basket. Beach ball. First aid kit. Cooker. Deck chairs. She's bringing everything but the kitchen sink. Hello. I've come to join in the fun. I'm sorry, wise old elf, but you have to be a daddy to have the day off. Actually, Holly, I am a daddy. I have three sons. Three sons? Yes, but I don't talk about it much. It's a bit uh, embarrassing. My eldest boy ran off to sea to make his fortune. He has a big red beard and he's a, a pirate. Happy Father's Day, Dad! Thank you, son. And from me too, Dad. Thank you. Redbeard, you never said the wise old elf was your dad. Well, pirates don't like to admit they have mummies and daddies. True, but they all do. And that's a fact. Captain Squid. Aha! What are you doing here, you scurvy old rogue? I'm keeping an eye on you, you blackguard, so you don't steal my treasure. Scallywag! Scoundrel! Ha-ha! Happy Father's Day, Dad. Thank you, son. What? Captain Squid is your son, too? That's, That's right! right. Oh, two of my son's pirates. But at least I have one son who's sensible. Guess what, Dad? I have decided to be a Viking. Ha-ha! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Food delivery! Oh, good. I ordered an egg. I've got an egg, but I've got an orange. Have you brought my orange? Sorry, Mrs Peach. Just out of oranges. Here's some broccoli instead. I don't like broccoli. Oh, but it's good for you. This is a lettuce, but I ordered a cabbage. Oh, for goodness sake. You're all so grumpy. We're only grumpy because you muddled our delivery. It's not like when Mr Elf does it. Oh, here. You can help yourselves. Food delivery. Bye. Go, go, go. Squeak. Squeak! Squeak! We'll see you at the hollow log, wise old elf! <laughs> Squeak! <laughs> Squeak! I hope the wise old elf will be all right. Squeak! Oh. 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 Squeak! <laughs> squeak! Squeak! <laughs> uh, 
Oh, good. Almost there. Oh, no! The tail has fallen off. Oh, I'm out of control. I can't stop. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, I love autumn. It's a pity I missed Acorn Day. Ah! Oh! Oof! I say, an acorn. How charming. Your Majesty, throw the acorn away. A talking squirrel. Throw the acorn away, Your Majesty. Ah, wise old elf. Where did you come from? The acorn, your majesty. It's dangerous. Nonsense. How can an acorn be dangerous? This lovely acorn isn't dangerous. Two acorns. It must be my lucky day. Yeah! Was that supposed to happen? Well, not exactly. But the castle is a great place to stop. It's not an earthquake. <laughs> it's worse than an earthquake. It's a woodpecker. Oh. <gasps> it's smashing the tree. It's made a hole. It's got inside. Oh, it's not in my flat. Phew, it's not in my flat. Ah, our door's stuck. Here, son, let me try. I believe we have found the bird. Everybody, keep calm and don't panic. Ah! Ah! Everybody out! Run for your life! Ben? Hello, Holly. We've got a bird in our tree. Yes, I saw it first. It's a woodpecker. That's correct. I didn't realise your majesty was interested in birds. Oh, yes. I'm a bird spotter. Here's my badge. Then it's very good you turned up. We need all the help we can get. Take me to the bird. Thank goodness you're here, Your Majesty. The woodpecker is in our home. It's building a nest. And soon there'll be eggs. And when they hatch, there'll be baby woodpecker chicks. And baby woodpecker chicks are extremely rare to spot. Fantastic. When they hatch, I can come back and tick them off in my book. It's got to go now, before it lays its eggs. It can't go. I want to spot the chicks. This tree is for elves, not for woodpeckers. No nesting creature shall be disturbed. That's the law. Is it? Wise old elf, we have a question. The answer wasn't in our storybook. It's an elf question, not really a fairy matter. So we thought... As you are the wise old elf. Yes, of course. Ask me any question, anything at all. <coughs> Where do the stars go in the daytime? Uh, ask me another question. Uh, on sport, perhaps. You're not really wise, are you? You're just old. So, old elf, you don't know the answer. Uh, no, but I do know where to find it. Where? Follow me. Is it far? All of this searching for answers has made me a bit tired. We can take the lift. Mind the doors, please. Where are we going? We are going to the Great Elf Library. Great Elf Library, indeed. It's probably just a dusty old cupboard. Goodness me! Shh! This is a library. We must be quiet. Wow! 
It's huge. There are so many books here. How do you stop them flying about and fidgeting? These are not magic books, Your Majesty. Oh, well, how do you ever find what you are looking for, then? We ask the wise old librarian. So where is this wise old librarian? <clears throat> Can I help you? Are you the librarian? Is this true, wise old elf? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid so. But I've got an urgent delivery of food for the little castle. I suggest you come back tomorrow. Righty-ho. Bye. Bye. Talking of food, I'm getting a bit hungry. Me too. And me. And me. And me. Queen Holly. We're hungry. Very well. I command you to eat something. <laughs> Being queen is easy peasy. But no one has made any food. Everyone's on holiday. Oh. Queen Holly, if you would allow the elves back to work, we could make everyone lunch. No, no. You all have to have a nice day's holiday. It's the law. But we're hungry. We need food. Uh, I'll make food. Hooray! Now, what do you eat on holiday? Ice cream. Yes, that's it. You shall all eat ice cream. Hooray! Thank you, Queen Holly. <laughs> cauldron to make the ice cream. Oh, are you going to make the ice cream with magic? Of course I am. But Holly, your spells don't always work out quite right. Making ice cream is easy peasy. Watch. Abracadoo, abracabong. Uh, ice cream for everyone all day long. <laughs> Wow! Good day, Mistress Plum. Hi there. For the benefit of the <coughs> fairies amongst us, may I remind you there is to be strictly no magic and absolutely no flying. Dear me, I was right. This is going to be boring. Now to our first event, running. Look! There's Ben. On your marks, get set, go. One, two, three, come on, fast Ben, come on, Ben. Oh, Ben can't hear me. We'll soon sort that out. May I? Thank you. Try this, Princess Holly. I've got very sensitive ears. Sorry, wise old elf! Hooray! Barnaby Elf is the winner. Hooray! Oh, no! Ben's come last. Oh, dear. Elves can be very touchy about this sort of thing. What did you do that for? I was trying to help you win. I was winning. It was your shouting that made me lose. Sorry, Ben. Not to worry. Maybe there's some other little game you can have a go at. Will all competitors please get ready for the next event? The high jump. You're very good at jumping, Ben. You'll easily win. I hope so. I hope so too. There's nothing worse than a grumpy elf. The first competitor is Lizzie Elf. What's going on? Bunny Rabbit! More, more, more! What's that noise? It's coming from over there. 
I think we've found my little sisters. <laughs> hop, 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 hop. <laughs> wow! Look at all those rabbits. That one's wearing my dad's hat. Puppy, Daisy, what have you done? Rabbity, rabbity. They've turned all the elves into rabbits. Daisy, that wasn't funny or clever. Give me the wand. Kitty Catty. Meow. <coughs> Daisy and Poppy, I'm sure you didn't mean to. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Birdy Wordy. Birdy Wordy. Phew. Do you think that's it? Yes. Luckily, birds can't hold wands. Ah, oh, Barnaby and Ben, have you seen the girls? The kittens are Holly and Fleur. And the birds are the twins. What? Uh, Daisy and Puppy have been doing a bit of magicking. I see. And who are all the rabbits? They're the elves. Right. We've got a lot of tidying up to do. Runaway kittens, come back fairies. Hop away bunnies, come back elves. Fly away birdies, come back twins. Holly, you were supposed to be looking after your little sisters. But... Nanny Pelup, is this ghastly weather you're doing? Oh, stop fussing! It'll get better in a moment. It can't get any worse. Ah! Oh, the mill's going crazy. It's making too much flour. Run, run, run for your life! Too fast! The mill is out of control! It's filling up with flour! Isn't that what it's supposed to do? We have to slow the mill down! <sighs> All right! I'll just do some more magic to stop the wind! No, thank you, Nanny Palum. We've had quite enough of fairy magic. Now it's time for some elf skill. What's your plan, wise old elf? We simply lasso the sails and stop the windmill. Take hold of this rope, elves. Oh. Are you sure this is a good idea? We know what we're doing. Stand back, everyone. He's got it! Hooray! Well done, wise old elf. Told you it would work. <gasps> I hope they're okay. <laughs> they don't look very happy. Elves are never happy. <laughs> Maybe you could stop the spell now, Nanny Plum. Allow me, Your Majesty. Elves are good at building boats, and I'm an... El I can build a better boat than you. Nonsense! Can too. Stop! Stop! I don't care how you do it. Just build me a boat. So, how are we going to work together on this? I know. We'll build a boat each. And King Thistle can choose the best one. And he'll choose mine. He'll choose mine. I have a fantastic idea for a boat. Oh, what is it? It's a secret. Come on, Ben. Fine. I've got a better idea anyway. What sort of boat are we going to build? We're going to build a Viking boat. Cool. Nanny, what sort of boat are we going to build? No idea. The wise old elf said he had a good idea, but it was a secret. All right, let's find out what it is. Isn't that cheating? Yes, well done, Fleur. That's called cheating. 
our Viking boat will have shields on the sides and a dragon head at the front. Ooh! How big will it be? Not too big, just large enough for the king to sit in. Come on, fairies, back to the castle. So, they're making a Viking boat. We can make one too. Isn't that copying? Yes, Fleur, well done. That's called copying. Abracadabra, Viking boat. And to make it better than theirs, we'll make it bigger. Hello? Hello, Nanny Plum. How's your boat coming along? We finished. I magicked up a Viking boat. What? But we're building a Viking boat? Fancy that. We're both building Viking boats. Nanny Plum is building a Viking boat. Oh! She must have spied on us. Hmm. Two can play at that game. Who wants to be a spy? The wand doctor is here. Hello. But that's just the wise old elf. I'll have you know, I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a fully qualified wand doctor. Oh, I see. We elves make the wands, remember? Yes, why is that? You hate magic. We make wands, but we don't use them. Magic always leads to trouble. Now, where is my patient? Here. Achoo! Ah, that's loud. <laughs> Tongue out, please. As I thought, a cold. I suggest plenty of rest. The wand needs to stay in bed and keep nice and warm. Will Wandy be able to do magic? Oh, no, no, no. There'll be no waving Wandy around for a while. Oh. What shall I do without a wand? Funny you should ask. I've been working on a brand new wand. Maybe you'd like to try it out. Wow! It's been top secret until now. I call it the Wise Wand 3000. Even I didn't know about it. Gosh, thanks, wise old elf. It's so pretty. You're my best friend. Ooh! And it talks. I love you. Incredible. Amazing. That's not all. This wand has a very special feature no other wand has. What special feature? Oh, you'll find out soon enough. I have to say, wands don't get any better than this. What did he mean by that? What does he ever mean? I always lose interest halfway through. I can't wait to do some magic with my Wise Wand 3000. Well, you will have to wait till tomorrow because it's nearly bedtime. Oh, Bye, Holly. Bye, Ben. Hello? Nanny? I know. Your ears are wiggling. Which means you are doing magic. Stop it. Stop it now. I do not like magic. Now, Holly, what is my next job? Um, magic school. Oh. Good morning, children. I am Nanny Plum for today. Good morning, Nanny Plum. Today's magic lesson is magic always leads to trouble. So, don't do magic. The end. Is that it? Yes. Now, I think I'll have a little nap. So, this is Nanny Palum's bedroom. It's all flowers, bunnies and cushions. Lovely, isn't it? At least I can have a little sleep. Ah! It's so soft! It's not a bed, it's a giant pudding. What's next? The wise old elf has a little nap. So, this is the wise old elf's bedroom. How could a room be more boring? Ow! That's not a bed. It's a plank of wood. Wise old elf, please report to elf rescue. Ugh. What now? You have to sit here and wait for the red phone to ring. If the red phone rings, you launch Elf Rescue and save people from deadly peril. Are the biscuits? Yes, 
Oh, goody. Oh, how could a bed be so soft? Nanny! Oh, what is it now? Nanny, I want a snack. Nanny! Okay, Your Majesty. Aha, jelly. Your snack, King Thistle. Lovely. What is it? Jelly. Oh, that's magic jelly. We don't want a jelly flood. Ho oh, ho, there's not going to be a jelly flood. But... Nice bees. Uh, just borrowing a bit of honey. Um, I'm a bee. Buzz, buzz. Pull me up. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Pull me up. Mission accomplished. Calm, safe and sensible. What are those bees doing, Nanny? They seem to be following her. Ah! Bee swarm! Get me out of here! Look, there's loads more of them. Why are they following him? Maybe they think he's the Queen Bee. Ah! Faster! Hold on! The little castle. Thank goodness the window's open. Hmm, bit of a draft in here. Let's close the window. Yeah! Goodness me! Wise old elf, what are you. Ah! My jar of honey. What an amazing delivery service. You're even dressed as a bee. Yes? Let me in! What are you playing at? Shh! What's going on? Bees! Bees! Ah, yes. I used to be frightened of bees, too. But it turns out they're quite useful. Shush! Who switched the lights out? Follow me quietly, Your Majesty. Where are we going? Shh! Wise old elf, there better be a good reason for this, or good grief! What are those bees doing? Uh, the bees have decided that the little castle is their new home, Your Majesty. What? But looking on the bright side, you can have all the honey you can eat. Why have they all come here? They followed me because they think I'm the Queen Bee. What? Everybody ready? was right. This is the jungle. Good. Now to find Redbeard. Gaston, well, find Redbeard. Remember, he smells like old socks. Well, well. <laughs> Good boy. This way. Ooh, look at that statue. Hmm, some kind of ancient god, I suppose. We must be getting close to the lost city. Look at this crazy orange plant. Ah, yes. The proper name is Heliconia jacquinii. And this one's called Chrysanthemum locanthemum. How did you know that? It's on the label. Oh, how odd. This statue's labelled too. And this one. This plant's got a price on it. $4.99. That's good. Something very strange is going on here. Yes, some madman has gone through the jungle labelling everything. Ah! It's raining. It's not rain. It's a big person with a watering can. This isn't the jungle. This is a garden centre. <laughs> Gaston's brought us to the wrong place. Poor Redbeard is hundreds of miles away in the real jungle. Ugh, and we're stuck in a garden centre. Hello. Hello? Are you nearly here? Uh, we're a bit far from the jungle. Oh, yes. Whereabouts? Right now, we're in a garden centre in a pot of daffodils. Oh. Ooh, it's 
so colorful and pretty. It's a mass of pipes, tubes, and incredibly complicated. <gasps> I don't need to know the little details. Just fix it. What a great and clever leader. Yes, we're very lucky. Hmm, this is going to take some time. Mr Zyros, while you're waiting, would you like a tour of the Little Kingdom? We would very much like that. Oh, goody. This way. First stop, Gaston's Cave. Gaston, are you in? This is our friend, Gaston the Ladybird. Ah, a ladybird. So that is the sound a ladybird makes. <laughs> What did he say? He asked if Gaston is for eating. No, we don't eat our friends. Do you? Oh, no. Hardly ever. Next on the tour, the little castle, where I live. Mummy. Hello, darling. Oh! It's OK, Mummy. They're just aliens from Planet Bong. Oh, that's all right, then. No. You can't eat her. Thistle King, is this where you make your important decisions? Uh, yes. Yes, I'm always making important decisions. Your Majesty, do you want soup or sausages for lunch? Hmm, I think sausages. You are very wise, Thistle King. Oh, well, you know, I do my best. And Elf Ben, where do you live? I live in a tree. Tree? What is tree? Here it is, the great elf tree. Ah, I see. So a tree is a kind of apartment block. I am learning much about your planet. Hello, Ben. Ah, aliens! Yes, Dad. You remember the aliens we met on the moon? They're here on holiday. Oh, yes. Those aliens. Happy holiday! <coughs> no, he is not to be eaten either. Here we are, the house of Father Christmas. It looks like a Christmas pudding. Oh, wonderful. Yes, little brother, I built it myself. Well, uh, when I said wonderful, I meant it's OK. <laughs> this is Father Christmas's study. We can thaw the ladybird out by the fire. Are these Father Christmas's slippers? Yes, they are. Wow! His feet are bigger than all of us. I think Gaston is thawing out. Well, well. Gaston's back! <laughs> Box 571 delivered. Oh, thank you, little brother. It would be simply spiffing if next year you made the last toy delivery before Christmas Eve. What? At least I make toys. You just wrap them up. Ah, but wrapping toys is the important bit. You have to be as old and wise as me to understand that. You're no wiser than me, but I am by three minutes. And I always will be. Ahem. Talking of wrapping presents, shouldn't somebody be doing that by now? It's Christmas Eve. Goodness me, you're right. To the present wrapping machines. That's the last of this year's presents wrapped. Time for a holiday. Hurrah! Uh, we've just brought one more box of toys to wrap. Sorry to end your holiday. That's OK. Arctic elves love wrapping presents. And we are... Oh, no! Arctic elves! We brought you toy robots, dolls, space rockets and cars. Not bad. Weather forecast. Weather forecast? Yes. We can use my elf weather detector. Wow! So can this machine tell if it's going to snow? Of course. How does it work? I listen to the weather through this giant ear trumpet. It's so sensitive I can hear a butterfly flapping its wings in Africa. Can you hear any butterflies? Ah! 
don't talk loudly into the trumpet. Sorry, wise old elf. Now, please stay quiet. Ah, interesting. Is it a butterfly? No, I can hear weather. What sort of weather? Uh, <clears throat> there's a chance of sun or rain with clear skies or clouds. Is it going to snow? I can say it certainly might, but then again, it might not. Oh. I know. Let's ask Nanny Plum if it's going to snow. Why ask Nanny Plum? Nanny can tell the future. Ha! This I must see. <laughs> Tell the future, can't you? I certainly can. Can you tell if it's going to snow today? Yes, I'll use my special snow forecasting globe. Oh, oh I see. You gaze into the crystal ball and it tells our fortune, I suppose. <laughs> no, you just shake it like this. There we are. It'll snow today. Hooray! Stop, stop, stop. How on earth can that thing predict the weather? It's never been wrong. What if you shook it in the summer? Well, you don't shake it in the summer. Oh. Happy No Magic Day, Mr Elf. Um, wise old elf, we're having a bit of a problem at the toy factory. Oh, then I'd better take a look. That's strange. The escalator isn't working. Yes, wise old elf. Nothing is working. The whole factory has stopped. But the elf factory never stops. Oh, it stopped. We cannot make any toys. But I don't understand. Why has everything stopped? I think you should take a look at this. The elf engine has broken down. Ah, the elf engine, of course. What can we do? Um, well, let's not worry about it. Not worry? But there are toys to be made. Oh, never mind. We'll just have a day off. A day off? Yes, in honour of No Magic Day. We can all have a holiday. There's no time for holidays. We have a big order of toys for an important customer. Well, the customer can wait. Uh, you better tell him yourself. Hello? Ho, ho, ho. It's Father Christmas here. Oh, Mr Christmas. Ah, wise old elf. How are the toys coming along? I need them today. Uh, yes, your Christmasness. No problem. How on earth are we going to get the toys made? We'll just fix the elf engine. I'm afraid we can't. Why can't we? Elves can't fix anything. And, and we're elves! There is no way that engine is going to work today. Maybe it's just run out of fuel. Yes, it has. So we'll just get some more fuel. What does it run on? Steam or gas? No, the engine is powered by a very dangerous fuel. It's a terrible signal. Wise old elf? Nanny Plum, don't you know what time it is? I didn't call to ask you the time. We're in a big house and the window's closed. I need some elves to rescue us. I see. How many elves do you need? All of them. We came in through the window, but now it's shut. There, it's open. Thanks, Lucy. It was nice meeting you, Lucy, but we weren't supposed to wake you. It's OK. I'll pretend to be asleep. Bye-bye. <laughs> hmm. I see you woke the little girl up. We didn't mean to, Nanny. Oh, it's OK. They always wake up. Elves to the rescue! Elves to the rescue! Now, where's this window that needs opening? You just came through it. But that's an open window. Yes, we've done it ourselves. We don't need you anymore. Sorry. Sorry? 
You've just dragged every elf in the kingdom from their beds. Shush! Can you be quiet? Of course I can. Elves are very good at being quiet. And we're, we're elves! elves! No! <laughs> this is why elves can't be tooth fairies. You're too noisy. Are you all right, Lucy? We heard a noise. It's OK. She's asleep. You can come out now. You! Bye, Lucy. See, See you, you again. again. Bye, Ben and Holly. Um, can we have a lift? I'm a bit too tired to fly. Papa board. <laughs> it's collecting eggs that's dangerous. How do you collect an egg? An elf must run very quickly to the egg, pick it up, and run away with it as quick as they can. What happens if they're not quick enough? They get sat on. <laughs> oh, dear. Now you see how important it is that the gate is locked at all times. A chicken's escaped! Catch that chicken! <laughs> A chicken's escaped! Whoa, whoa. Catch that chicken! <laughs> Quick, to the elf truck! Follow that chicken! Oh, no! The clockwork has wound down! Quick, Ollie! Let's wind it up! Oh, hello! Will somebody give me an egg? Now! Goodness me! Lally Plum! I told you not to magic a chicken. That's not my ch Hello, wise old elf. How much longer is this going to take? As we builders say, there's no point in rushing things. Well, maybe a little rushing wouldn't do any harm. I'm afraid we have a lot of problems to deal with, Your Majesty. Uh, it's probably a silly idea. But have you tried moving that pebble over the hole? <laughs> You're right. That is a silly idea. Maybe it's still worth a try? With respect, Your Majesty, we each have our jobs to do. You're the king, and I'm the builder. Of course. <sighs> it's been a long day. I think I'll go to bed early. Uh, Your Majesty, that might be a problem. What do you mean? Well, it's to do with Gaston. Yes? Nanny magic to this basket for Gaston to sleep in. Well done, Nanny. But the basket was too draughty. Hmm. Then he tried my bed, but that was too soft. Oh, dear. I don't like the sound of this. Don't worry, Daddy. Gaston's found a bed that he says is just right. Oh, but that's my bed. What's he saying now? Gaston says he is very tired and would like to go to sleep now. Good night, Gaston. Sleep tight. So, where are we going to sleep? Oh, that was the most uncomfortable night ever. 
wise old elf shall wave the wand. Me? But I'm not a fairy. I don't do magic. Exactly. The perfect person. Oh, I don't think so. No, it wouldn't be right. Nonsense. We just need a bit of fairy dust. You are now magical. My body is all tingly. I don't like it. Don't worry. You won't be magical for very long. Just wave the wand and say... Jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Uh, jelly, jelly, but not a lot. Oh! oh! It worked! Can I turn Nanny Plum into a frog? Ha! I'd like to see you try. I say, this is fun. Oh, what happened? <laughs> Wise old elf, what are you doing? Having fun. Magic is not meant to be fun. What would happen if I asked for a lot of jelly? Try it and see. Jelly, 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 and lots of it. No, stop. We don't want a jelly flag. <laughs> Plum. It wasn't me. It was him. That's ridiculous. Elves don't do magic. Actually, Your Majesty, it was the wise old elf. Even old Figgy telling tales now. It's true. The wise old elf did it. Oh, dear. I believe I did do the spell. Fancy that. The wise old elf doing magic. <laughs> you have been naughty. Yes. And it just goes to show that magic always leads to trouble.